Hello YouTube, welcome back to the channel. We are headed up to Rhododendron Lane um, here in uh, Sky Harbor. Uh, got a call in for a guy with a dually and a trailer on a steep slope. Uh, he says the trailer, I believe he said he might have unhooked the trailer and everything's on a steep slope and the truck and the trailer are in bad shape. So uh, uh, we got Nate with us today. I figure he might want to help me grab either a truck or a trailer because uh, I don't think that uh, I want both of them. Uh, I think one sure. of the properties we looked at right up there, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we were close to the top up here. He's in trouble, guys, and I'm not sure. Hopefully we can help him. These driveways up here get just crazy steep, and I'm just heading up here. I'm really surprised that the guy didn't Stop. Turn left onto Rhododendron Lane, then before, you will arrive at your destination. Before he attempted this, because just in a normal vehicle, without trying to tow something, you it's all you can do to get up here. So I think you need to go left here? Oh my goodness. Oh, is it this? You've arrived. Oh, Lordy. A box trailer?
see the incline on that or not. <laughs> I, see, I was thinking, I said, well, maybe if they could take the trailer out of the way. But, yeah. That way to even get that. You meant to be able to manhandle the trailer. Yeah, with all those, the bikes on there, too. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. You got both of them? Just, That's scary. Two in there. He's got his cut. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, he's got his black, he's screaming eagle, and he brought Jack Spike. He didn't bring blue, and I'm so glad. Oh, oh my okay. God. <laughs> Yeah, that's a hundred thousand dollar bike. Yeah, and I'm oh, glad no he didn't break it. What is it? Uh, I just say crap. He will. Okay, he's fine. All right, right. I'll show you a picture of it in a minute. It'll take me a minute or two. Woo! I've got a bunch of photos. Yeah, that would be terrifying. Roll back into that and scoot back into it. But it get up on the concrete and stop. Yeah, yeah, well, he was trying to turn and got off the road and it just, from, well, from there went, yeah. Yeah. Just spin, spin, spin. My mouth's broken, so ah, mine's a wobbly one. Oh. I'd rather do that than try to move this trailer because whatever you, you, you whatever you do, we're willing to do what you say. Tell us. A runaway trailer sounds scary. Yes. Yeah. Um, and that would be my only tying it to your truck and then trying to push. And we'll do the uh, stump and then we'll, we'll try the stump. Because there's a stump up there, but it's it's short. But I think. I think it. I think it'll work. If it don't, I mean, we've always got another, just a little bit further away over there, though. The big tree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna walk up around here and look. Oh yeah, I need to. Uh, did you all? Did you hit this post? This fence? No, they were down. It was already they down. Were, yeah, there were two where they were pushed over. Somebody else has already had problems. Oh my goodness. Well, that's kind of scary. I see that. It's kind of a little ordinary for the house up here. Yeah. And then you lost traction and slid back. Is that what happened? No. I just went off the asphalt. Oh, okay. This is so near. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of room to turn. I got to get two feet before the drive by the road. The car got out. Yeah. Yeah, these bigger trucks, they... Not a lot of room to maneuver them. Yeah. Get it out and move on, I guess. Yeah, it'll be I'm right. just glad to be able to get it with you guys and y'all get here quick as you did. It happens a lot. Yeah, it's so hot. You know. Hey, which way did y'all come up? Uh, King Branch, Silver Poplar. How far are we from Gatlinburg, Pitchport? Do we have to go all the way back around? Uh-uh, no. There's one, two. There's, it just depends. You're like right in between Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg. Gatlinburg's that way. So we Pigeon came Forge in down. like, I mean, five, six, like 321 going out of town. Mm -hmm. um, you know where it goes back down to two lane? Mm -hmm. As soon as you come in this way. Told you to turn you right on the, the Buckhorn. Yeah, no, yeah. Uh, Mill, uh, Mill Park. Mill Park. Oh, okay. So yeah. we and come then, a long it way. Yeah. a two lane and a one lane. All the yeah, way no, you don't have to do that. Well, listen, I was so close to Gatlinburg, I almost see it, and it said turn there. Yeah, um. It, oh, careful there. It was, no, um, yeah, those are roads, more roads like this, like what up and what you've got up in here. If you go down and you go um, all the way down to Silver Poplar and you'll come to a road that's called King Branch. Yeah. If you turn left, it takes you right to the spur. Okay. If you turn left, it takes you right to the spur. Now it's kind of windy, but it's not, it's not super narrow. Um, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, that way over there is crazy. Um, but you yeah, guys, once you get you guys are from here? We've been here about ten years. Really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, a little over ten years now. But um but yeah, once you once you get to the spur you go left, go to Gatlinburg, and go right to go to Pigeon Forge. So right. it's super easy once you get over that way. It's just these roads up here in Sky Harbor that are crazy. I can't imagine building a house. 
I don't know how the truck's got to bring the material. I uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if they park down below and use a smaller truck to yeah, transport up to, here. Um, you know, but I mean, they have cranes and stuff that come up here and do this work, you know, so kind of crazy. <laughs> At least in this big car, right? The big truck. Next time we bring a, a all-wheel drive sedan, right? <laughs> He's talking about that one, maybe? I don't know. him go 800 pound bike don't pick up very easy not ready for savage on them yeah which stump are you oh that stump didn't you see that one uh -huh. oh gosh it's so steep Stand on that. Okay. No, probably a, probably just clevis that one. Hmm. <sighs> it's so steep, you can't hardly stand. Yeah. So are y'all staying in that cabin there? Here. Oh, this one up here. Oh. You guys okay. Right now, it's my fault. No. I should have walked up. Okay, I'm one of those, yeah, I, if it can be done, I can do it. <laughs> so here we go. I'll go all the way to the top, but this ain't gonna work. We're not, let's go. So I start backing. I said, I'm gonna throw my trailer in there and, and get out. Get yeah. off the road. And get yeah. Are these kind of what new? They are. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody's gonna say this. I, I see why. I can't get to it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, you know, one o'clock in the morning, take a pee outside. You're lazy now. What are you doing? Roll down there to one. Roll down there to one. Oh, my God. Oh, he was here. I know he was. Oh, goodness. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, this is super. Y'all just getting into town then? Yes. Yeah. Where from? Lumberton. You ever heard of Fort Bragg, Fedful? Mm -hmm. We're about 35 minutes to the other side, to the north side. And south side, I'm sorry, south side. And that's what state? North Carolina. North Carolina, okay. It's like a hard to Normally even see Normally everybody here. knows where Fort oh. Bragg is. Normally everybody knows. Yeah. I bet you guys stay busy. Yes. That's a good thing. <laughs> I think he was going to go tow hook. I think he was going to go to the tow hook, yeah. Look, you don't, you don't even need liquor up here. <laughs> 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 Not the way we stagger. Not the way we stagger. So, did he? Is he thinking that he's going to be able to pull the truck out and then get you reconnected and then guide you? Okay. Yes. I think that's the best choice. Sounds like a good plan. Once to I meet. get back on the asphalt, I think we'll be Right, good. yeah. Because we know your truck will pull that trailer so, you know, easily and you know how to, it hooks up to it and stuff. Right here. Be careful, Mama. We'll turn an ankle. We'll turn an ankle. Boy, that'd be a terrible trip for everybody, will Yes. All right. We cannot stand anywhere near here. <laughs> Good spot. If we had a spot, had a hatchet or something. Hold up there. Had a hatchet? What? What are you going to do with a hatchet? Putting a groove in that stump. Oh, yeah. No, we did all right. It should hold pretty good. Hey. I don't know if you want to stay down there and talk to him, but you probably want to be on the passenger side. Yeah, probably. I'm going to go here and watch him. Phase one. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think mine just died. One of them did. Okay.
mine died, so. <laughs> mine died. Oh no. Yeah, mine kind of low on battery. We're at 20% battery. Yeah. Oh, look at that view. Oh my goodness. That's amazing. Yeah, Nate, if you want. You want me to unhook this stuff? No, we might need it. Okay, will you give me a battery? Yeah. Yeah, we're at 19%. I wanna make sure that we get all this. Watch it there. Okay, what's the plan? Nathan's gonna back his truck up against the trailer so that it doesn't roll down when he connects. So I'm gonna maybe come over here. Let's see. You drive a big one? That's pretty good right there. If you just, if you just come up, I think we can... I got a, in a nasty if I need to use it. Yeah. And then got a couple of roll bags if I need Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I think that way, if it, at least if he bumps, it'll catch the leaf spring, I think, on there. It should be pretty good. Yeah. He's got the wheels chalked pretty good, too. Yeah. been just like stomach dropping like oh. heart racing panic when yeah. that happened that had to been then, terrifying trying to get out i mean we, we tried probably a, a hour before we even attempted to call you guys oh so. my goodness well i'm sorry y'all are having trouble that's no fun well it could have been a lot worse so i'm just thinking yeah not. yeah i mean you this know, everybody's safe everything you know right yeah yeah, as long as we can just continue with that. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, I think you're right in front of these frames. Okay, he's he's lifting up on the trailer right now. Just go on real off. About six inches. Right there. Whoa! <laughs> This, uh, okay. That's scary. That's hard. Just a hair. All right. Right here, they are. He's connected. Okay. Phase two. Check. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. 
if he, get, he can get straightened up, we should be able to back him straight down and out and then get him turned around down here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The wheels are chopped. He's getting it right now. Hold, tell him to hold his brakes. All right. What about the, what about the other side? So, oh gosh. Hold your brakes. Hold your brakes. Nathan, be careful. Okay, just hold his brake there. If he rolls back any, he's gonna roll into the uh, the pick here. It'd be all right. <laughs> which probably the the side of the road would be the safest way to go oh, down What I'm 
run into you with this, that's a great idea because when he comes back down, all his braking's in the front. That's what I said. When he gets, it's just going to drag him back down the hill. Yeah, let Kenny, let him get up there and unhook it. Kenny, ready to drive his truck up there, hook to the trailer because it's four wheel drive and bring it back. Yeah, I'd, I'd get it up there to level ground and let you unhook. Anyway guys, we just got that truck. I, I don't even know what to say, man. It's, he rented this place, $2,400 for three days. They told him that uh, it would be fine for him to park his trailer and, and his Harleys that were in his trailer. There'd be all kinds of room. Uh, as you guys can see, that's definitely not a place I'd want my Harleys and, and my trailer. But uh, that's what you run into when you rent these places that you just get the address for the office. You don't know where you're going until you get down here and check in. And then he just started up. You know, they, they told him that he would be fine. So he just assumed that he could go, which, uh, I mean, you gotta know when you're coming up through here that this is bad too. So guys, just don't do it. It's just not worth it. If you're, <laughs> as bad as this looks, then I would have I would have turned around at the bottom of the hill. I, it's just not worth it. But anyway, uh, we were able to get Nate behind the trailer because the, there was nothing. I mean, just a couple of blocks holding the trailer. They done had it unhooked when we got there, and it was loaded with bikes, um, you know, 600, 800 pound bikes, and uh, with just a sandstone rock and some blocks holding it on that incline that I didn't even want to stand up on, let alone trust. So he was afraid that once we tried to get the truck hooked back to the trailer, that when he bumped it, just go so we got Nate behind it uh, got him hooked up uh, with, the, with the trailer so at least when he went to put it back on the ball it didn't, it didn't go take out the neighbor's house or us and uh, I was able to winch and here's the thing guys when we when we don't have the customer in it it's for a reason because uh, we work well together we, we know what one another's thinking me and Kristen are you know, me and Nate, any of those situations. So it just needs to be a rule that uh, the customers the customers can just wait and watch because I told him to, you know, just drive. No, no, no pressure, no gas. We were hooked to a stump up at the top, and we got customers giving it gas and spinning tires, and the cables slack, and then we can't trust it to hold if something goes crazy and then running over cables and. It's just hard. It's really hard to coordinate back and forth when, when the customer's in. and uh, Obviously, they're in an unfamiliar place to begin with. So, probably shouldn't have done that. That's a, that's a bad on my part. But, uh, miscommunications. But anyway, we were able to get him back down the hill. And um, he ended up backing all the way back down. Initially, we thought we'd get him to the top. And his buddy's truck was four-wheel drive. So we would get the trailer hooked back up to it and uh, he would come back down with it facing down the hill. Cause I was afraid that it would just drag him. When you're coming back down load or no load, most of your braking's in the front. So when you hit it, you're just gonna slide. So that's what I was afraid of. But he, they kind of wouldn't listen. They wouldn't listen to us. And 
I thought we were pulling back up there for a minute, but indeed we were, we had done changing our mind mid stroke and he was backing back down no matter what. At the end of the day, he got it back down there. No harm, no foul, I guess, but uh, just be just be careful up here in these mountains, guys. It's no joke. If you're coming down to visit and they send you over to Ski Mountain or Sky Harbor or any of these places out in the valley and you've got a trailer and motorcycles, nah, leave your leave your trailer down at the bottom of the hill. You might be able to ride your motor. We still get people in trouble with motorcycles. They'll come up and it's a steep driveway and you've seen a few of our videos. You try to turn around with an 800 pound bike and you're on a slope, that bike's going over and then you're calling us to come pick up your bike. So it's still, I, I would probably just rent a hotel downtown someplace if it was me and I was coming to visit and I had bikes and wanted to enjoy the, the place, cabins are, these cabins are kind of tricky. So, but anyway, enough rambling. We're uh, headed back down the mountain, headed back down to the parkway. It is. It's it's so humid right now. Just got done raining and uh, blistering hot. But we're just we're not even into August yet. So almost August. So that should be fun. The oven's going to turn up. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Thursday the twenty eighth, and uh, we're on the tax free weekends. So we get a lot of folks that come in to the area to take advantage of school clothes, shopping, computers, uh, anything that you can imagine that's uh, you can take advantage of tax-free that is this weekend. And uh, if you're in town, I hope you get some good deals, buy lots of goodies, and uh, get the kitties back to school. It's hard to believe it's almost back to school time. Back to school is right around the corner. But yeah, anyway guys, stay tuned, got more coming your way.